And speaking of Netflix, it's time for today's three stock lunch. Here with our technical take on the stocks today, we welcome Katie Stockton, founder and managing partner at Fairlead Strategies, also a CNBC contributor. Katie, great to have you. What do you do with Netflix now? Well, I'm a buyer of Netflix. It, it has gapped up through its 50-day moving average in response to earnings, and that followed a pretty sharp corrective phase. People always tell us to buy into weakness, and yet it's very, very hard to do. It would have been the right thing to do with Netflix. It did flash some counter-trend signals into the downdraft. And now we have these oversold upturns, which I find pretty compelling, both on the daily and also the weekly charts of Netflix. So within the context of the long-term uptrend, I think we probably have an intermediate-term entry here. The initial resistance is roughly 440, but perhaps it can get back up to at least this year's highs. Very interesting. All right, let's move on to another one, uh, sort of in a similar sort of category. Shares of Best Buy, slightly higher. Goldman Sachs upgrading it from neutral to buy, highlighting the potential for an upswing in demand, driving to the upside. So you go home, you, you get your new Best Buy TV, and you watch your Netflix. What do you think of Best Buy? You know, I, I think a long-term neutral bias is probably still appropriate for Best Buy. It is in a trading range. Within that context, I understand the upgrade. It did get quite oversold and now is reacting to that oversold condition. It doesn't share in any kind of breakout, but it has reacted positively, and it did happen near a support level. So there is at least some room for Best Buy for near-term upside follow-through within the context of that long-term range. The 200-day moving average, I believe, is around 77 and it seems like a reasonable upside objective. Hmm. All right, so maybe $8 or so. I haven't talked about Best Buy in a while. What about AT&T? It's actually higher today after posting a third quarter earnings beat. They had some better subscriber growth. They lifted their free cash flow target, and we know all the telcos have just been uh, in a really tough place earlier this year. Right. Well, we've gone from a long-term uptrend in Netflix to now a long-term downtrend right. in AT&T. <laughs> the uh, gap higher today It is a promising short-term development. It's not really a major breakout on the chart, but it does, of course, show that there is some renewed momentum behind it after the consolidation phase. It had already shown a loss of intermediate-term downside momentum. And it's got some room to the first major resistance, which is above about 16 and a half. So if we can consider this a counter trend move in there and also a little bit higher risk, I think we can feel comfortable that we'll see momentum continue to improve, but really just in the near term as well here. All right. Sorry, AT&T for now. Uh, Katie, thanks so much. We appreciate it.